This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Max Tarleton with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. After serving as UNO's interim chancellor for the past 18 months, Dr. Jeffrey Gold is expected to be named the campus's next chancellor. First, though, students and staff will have the opportunity to ask Gold questions during two public forums today. Gold was named interim chancellor in April of 2017, and now university president Hank Bounds wants Gold to take the position, which would run through June of 2022. The Omaha City Council is expected to vote on a proposal that would allow people to walk around with their drinks in an outdoor plaza in Exarban Village. Noddle companies are asking the city to designate the base of the new HDR headquarters at 67th and Francis Streets as an entertainment district. This would be Omaha's second one. The Capital District downtown is already up and running. All right, Max, and we'll see a lot of cloud cover today with time to time sunshine. I think we'll call it partly sunny overall. Temperatures only get back to 37, so though we're improving from the weekend, we're still about 10 degrees below normal this afternoon, and it's going to feel even colder than that with north to northwest winds gusting over 20. Tonight, winds relax. Temperatures will come down to about 20 under mostly clear skies. Then we start the warm up. It's still in the forecast through the week. 47 tomorrow, close to normal. 52 on Wednesday for the big travel day. Lots of sunshine. Keep the sunglasses handy, but that's going to be about 5 degrees above normal. And then the mild day still looks great for Thanksgiving. Mostly sunny, 55. Clouds increase, maybe a sprinkle or a few showers on Black Friday, still in the low to mid 50s. And even Saturday right now looks to mainly be dry at 50 degrees. Another cold front moves in Sunday. That could bring some rain and snow showers. Something we'll have to watch as you head home from your destinations. Otherwise, temperatures there will be in the 30s.